Yeah. What's good, people? We're back live from the plaza. So I, today, we're going to be talking about an old Jimmy Henchman interview. This is a very rare interview, but I thought, let me, let me put it on the channel so we can uh, create some discussion. So what Jimmy Henchman's talking about in this interview, he's talking about some issues that he's got with Jay-Z. I believe the issue that happened was Jimmy Henchman was putting together an album or some sort of compilation album. It was called Bulletproof Love. And uh, basically he wanted a track from Jay-Z. So I think he bumped into Jay-Z on the streets, you know, just about in the town, New York, Brooklyn, whatever. So he's linked up with him. And then he basically said, yo, I just need a verse. I just need a song from you just to put on this compilation album, just on some street stuff. And then Jay-Z in his face kind of agreed with him and said, yeah, yeah, no problem, I got you. But then he's basically turned it over to Lior. And then from when it's gone to Lior, it's turned all industry and you know what I mean? It's, it's turned all crazy. So I believe in the interview, this interview that I'm about to show you, Jimmy Henchman's just complaining about some of those issues or just saying his point on some of those issues with Jay-Z. But it's funny because the interviewer didn't really ask him, but he starts talking about Tupac. And, you know, he says some key things here. Uh, one of the main quotes that I took from some of the stuff he was saying is um, Tupac, he felt that he wasn't able to distinguish the boundaries and he felt like he mixed in the acting, the music and real life into one. It's his subtle way of saying like know who to play with and know who not to play with. So if you're watching this video the likelihood is you've been on other channels, you've seen all the stuff that went on with Tupac in the past with Jimmy Henchman and the reasons why they would have put the drop on him at Quad Studios. But this is, you know, a rare interview where he's kind of mentioned something. You know, these guys are clever guys that so they don't really want to say too much. You know, they don't want to put too much attention on them. They don't want to say, yeah, it was me who got it done. Just put out a little hint. So yeah, just listen to this interview. Tell me what you think in the comments. I told a dude as a man, I was like, dude, just give me a joint that's hot enough and I'll deal with the niggas in LA because they would have been mad for me taking the oh, joint hell off. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I said, dude, just give me a, a dope joint and we call it a day. You know what I'm saying? If he was that nervous about it, I figured I don't want nobody's blood on my hand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, I was willing to do it. But as soon as he ran up top like that, I kind of everything i had all the respect i had for dude you know you just usually just see niggas true colors it's just like how you see a nigga true color when you know all the shit you talking on them records even though it's entertainment but nigga be a man sometime you know what i'm saying especially when a nigga is just rhyming when this whole rap shit is based on battle and and rhyming and who got the best skills you know and if your skills is like that Mash the nigga out on your rhymes. And niggas ain't got no 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 choice but to ride with you, nigga, if you defend yours. But if you ain't trying to even defend yours, nigga, niggas ain't got niggas can't say nothing. You know? I don't wanna get stuck on Jay too long, but why you about why what's the deal? How 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 is this dude not getting love in his own hood? You know what I'm saying? What what, what? Is this nigga just spitting falsehood or what? Is he spitting falsehood on his tracks? You know what I'm saying? Cause, cause he's, when he spit, it sounds as though He's still dirty, you know what I'm saying? Of his fingernails are still dirty. He's still getting them dirty, you know what I'm saying? But the cats that are really doing it, the same nigga you ain't doing it. Is that you know what I'm saying? Is that why he, you know what I'm saying? He ain't getting that love because he's fronting. How that that, that I mean, it's just going to segue to my next question? You know, you know what I'm saying? How real is he keeping it? That's the, you know. What I'm saying though, let's 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 throw it around this way. How real can a dude really keep it when you're running a, a forty million dollar company? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the problem. What happened with Suge? Right. He is running a hundred thousand dollar, I mean a hundred million dollar company, but tried to keep it real at the same note, right. and end up getting a nine year stint. Okay. But you know, in, in that respect, you got to understand where he's coming from. But there's certain innate shit that a nigga have in him that just won't leave him. You know what I'm saying? If you coming up out of the streets, there's just certain things, you, certain principles a nigga have. You're not going to have no nigga disrespect you. 
Of course you can't slap every nigga who bump into you no more like you used to because you a Jay-Z or any other artist. You know what I'm saying? That's big, a DMX or whatever. But there's certain things or certain niggas you got to res- you gonna have to still deal with them on certain respect level. You know what I'm saying? If you respect them crackers for what they could do to you, you got to respect them niggas in the hood too, what they could do to you. So you got to deal with them niggas in a certain way. If you come to them niggas humble and be like, yo, woo, 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 niggas can respect that. So you, are you saying that he, he, he must have gotten it said that he's risen to a certain level so he ain't got to deal with this level over here? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying it to that, I don't, to that extreme with him, but he just showed his true colors because even sometimes a lot of these niggas in the street get away with being fake-ass niggas too. No, no, true, true. So he could have just been one of them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Because when niggas started hustling out of town, they didn't really have to deal with the nigga in the neighborhood who they was afraid of. Because they could have went to North Carolina and been whoever they wanted to be. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that could be, you know, how it happened with Jay. I don't know. But, yeah, the nigga used to get his fingers dirty. I, I know that for sure. But that doesn't mean that the nigga was, is a tough nigga. True. You know what I'm saying? True. You know, so, so you know, you could look at it in two folds. The nigga's running a... 40 50 million dollar company and he can't do the same thing that a nigga on the streets would do right. he can't bang his hammer like that no doubt you know what i'm saying and you got to respect that if he's that intelligent to look at it that way you got to respect that and then but there's just like i said there's certain principles a nigga gonna have regardless when you're in the streets that won't never leave you no doubt. you know what i'm saying no you'll never let a nigga disrespect respect you and you'll never disrespect a nigga no who doubt. you know got power in the streets no doubt. you just gonna show a certain kind of level of respect just as long as the nigga ain't disrespecting you yeah. but you're gonna definitely show some kind of respect like these yeah. niggas is real niggas in the hood no they, no they ain't doubt. got nothing to lose no you know what i'm saying yeah. so you know you're gonna show a certain kind of respect and I feel you. I feel you. So, yo, do you feel like there's a certain responsibility? Say that you know now he's running that forty million dollar company, boom, or any brother running a company now. You know what I'm saying? There's never. Don't you feel a responsibility to the youth, to the nephews, to nieces, and the sisters and brothers coming through to spit the truth, or to spit you know what I'm saying, half a truth or, or fraudulence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, you you. So you know. I, I, I don't know, man. I mean, it's entertainment. Or it's, or it's, about it's, se- it's selling records. It's, it's, it's records. entertainment. So it's up to when, parents when, just, when, just to explain, well, this is what that exactly. is. Exactly. And I think what we're, we're, we're a lot of, a lo- what we do a lot of times, we, 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 we put these dudes in pressure. Mm-hmm. We pressure them to the point of where we make them have to be realistic to their, their lyrics. What's that? Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. And which is, is something that I, I kind of think that Pac kind of got caught up where he couldn't differentiate, yeah. Yeah. you know, rapping, yeah. real life, yeah. and acting. Yeah. Yeah. Like he just mixed, mixed all, all that together. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that was a ball of confusion. No doubt. Because you got to know the niggas who you got to act in front of. No doubt. You got to know who the niggas who you rhyme in front of. And the real life shit is the real life shit. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, if he would, I think, the, you know, as long as a nigga deal with every aspects of life, yeah. the way accordingly, then I think he could stay out of trouble. You know what I'm saying? But but Jay kind of portrays and and bigs up himself to the point of where, you know, the from the pimping to the flossing to, you know, everything I drive is Bentley yeah. and I yeah. still rep the street. Yeah. He yeah. puts yeah. himself in that position Right. To where niggas want to test him. Right, right. You right. know what I'm saying? But we still, we have, just like he has his responsibility, we as consumers or the consumers have a responsibility too to know that it's mm-hmm. still entertainment too. No doubt. 